Wednesday, October 2nd, nothing has changed. Uh, after walking yesterday, I guess uh, Corey came by and we talked for a little while. Um, she encouraged me to tell mom not to come home yet. I would be inclined to agree with that. And then I read yesterday, uh, I had finished a little fuzzy during the day. Come on, Bella, up here, this way. And then I read um, Fuzzy Sapiens in the evening, in the afternoon and evening. Both very good, and now I've been, and then I started on Fuzzies and Other People, which supposedly is a lost manuscript of H.P. Piper, but doesn't really feel like his writing style. So, I don't know. Anyway, got to bed around 8. Uh, miserable, sweaty, felt gross. I, I mean, I gave myself a little sponge bath kind of deal, but that doesn't feel clean. And my hair, I can't really wash my hair, because washing your hair takes water, a lot of water. I don't want to waste it. Come on, Christy. Christy, come on. Hey, come on. Up at 6. Uh, to use the bathroom and then go back to bed and lay in bed. Christy came over <laughs> onto the bed with us, which I thought was really, I liked it. I was done a lot. River's still up a little, but not a whole lot. Still very muddy. Not as bad as it's been. Come on, girls, let's go. Come on. Oh, did I say it was 63 degrees according to the thermometer on the wall of the... Come on, girls, come on. Um, according to the thermometer on the porch, and that's about 17 degrees centigrade, I believe. <sighs> what else? Going to drive into town this morning and uh, call mom again, and then that's it. I mean, I don't know. Oh, that's attractive. So this is Buddy. Found him on Auburn Trivet Road, or on Bethel, near Auburn Trivet. So, brought him in to check, see if he's chipped. He's not. So, we're gonna hang on to him. I'm gonna take him down to Bethel Church, see if anybody recognizes him there. There's no way to really put him online right now because everything's down. So, this turned into a whole big kind of a deal. He's a very good boy. Uh, a few years old is what the doc Dr. Chestnut thinks. Um, very friendly, very sweet. I'm gonna give him a bath here. They said they could give him a quick bath and give him some flea and tick stuff and then head up, head back over and try to get to Bethel Church and see if anybody recognizes him. Yeah, I wish we knew who you belonged to. All right. Buddy is slowly acclimating. Hopefully, hopefully everybody will keep saying along. <laughs> Buddy, there he is. Good boy. All right. So, uh, very briefly, I don't know if I can handle four dogs and record. Um, <clears throat> and I want to walk them all at once. Hope here's something. So. Wait, okay, there, I turn off the, the light. Basically, this is Buddy. I, um, I picked him up on Bethel Road, near our road. And, uh, I don't remember if I told all this before. I took him to the, the vet. He's not chipped. So I got him an examination. I got him, um, a rabies shot. I got him a pill for fleas and ticks. I got him washed they washed him they were so kind i'm bringing mom home tomorrow which is stupid and i'm gonna have to take all four dogs with me because i don't trust any of them i don't want to leave any of them here when i don't know what could happen or if i can even get back easily so that's gonna be a huge pain in my ass um but i bought him this collar to put his rabies tag on and I bought a harness to go with that so I could walk him and then I'd asked I'd stopped in Sugar Grove and asked them about him they didn't know 
and they suggested I go over to Bethel to this church there. So I went over there and asked. Nobody recognized him. The pastor didn't know him. I um, got some hamburgers there. They were giving out free food, and I hadn't had actual cooked food in since Friday. So uh, then I asked the fire department there, and they didn't recognize him. One guy's like, "It looks like you got you a dog," and I was like, "Well, we'll see." He's a male. He's not. He's not neutered, which I'm not a real big fan of. I prefer females, but. Um, you can see his big old schlong there. Uh, so we came back home and I did some cleaning up. I got all of the, I got some more ice put into one of the ice chests and I got, uh, got that dealt with. Um, then I went over to, uh, one of the rentals. We know the owner and he said we'd come over and get a shower. And so I was like, oh, hell yes. So I feel human again. I don't feel just gross, completely gross. I'm sure I'll feel gross soon enough. Probably after tonight. Yeah, probably after tonight, Bella Beer. What's he doing? He's just chewing. He had some fleas. Anyway, this is too long. So uh, I went down there, I took a shower. It felt great. I took a hot shower and then I followed that up with a nice cold shower to cool off. I forgot to take my clothes to change into that I prepared. So I ended up just putting my grungies back on which I'm going to be doing here momentarily anyway before I walk the dogs. If I can walk them at all and record, I will. But I'm done. All right, here's my attempt at recording. It, they, it gets very crazy when they go around something like that stick. And some are on one side and others are on the other. Oh, my God. Oh, come on, Chris. Bella's already done. Bella, get down. And I got some free food at the church, and I'm giving that to Buddy. He got about a cup, a little less than a cup. And he seems to be really enjoying it, and I'm betting he's hungry. He seems skinny to me.